one of the last things we've seen taught in the mythology is often the Jedi Code. And the Jedi community tends to do this in reverse, aiming to kind of bombard you with the code and philosophy first when we see this coming in second. And the reason for this is because without the force, you can't really understand what the code means. So the code can act as a mantra, and the code is there is no emotion, there is peace, there is no ignorance, there is knowledge, there is no passion, there is serenity, there is no chaos, there is harmony, there is no death, there is the force. This simple code, this is the one we most often refer to when people talk about the code, isn't a code of action, but it kind of is. It reminds you that you've got to seek knowledge to make sure you're not ignorant and causing problems in the world, making things worse. It also reminds you to find peace and serenity rather than having your passions, which are overwhelming drives that can control you and make you act irrationally, or your emotions, which are those basic level impulses of how you feel coloring your judgment as to how you act. Moreover, it shows that in the greater force, there is no chaos, there's harmony. Everything is fitting together and you are fitting together there in a way that you can help. You can make a difference. As a Jedi, you have the power to influence the world around you and do something with this. Without understanding the force, without touching it, without feeling it, the code is kind of a meaningless thing. But with it, the code transforms into an understanding of how the force works how it moves and why it is. It still remains a viable, powerful mantra for finding center as well. And because it is such a viable mantra, we often see this, what I would say, top-down approach being taught where the force is learned last and the code is learned first with the rest of that philosophy. That's not exactly super helpful for learning to be a Jedi because, with again, without the force this is only a mantra and it can actually teach you to cut yourself off from the force because you're saying, well, I don't want to use my feelings. I don't want to use my emotions when emotional sense is a part of the force. When we say there is no emotion, there is peace. We're recognizing that the force itself doesn't contain emotion and that we have to reach a point of centeredness so that the emotions are not the core of who we are. We drill in a core of peace in these practices with previous meditations, breathing meditations, you start to get a hint of this and we see it more in the mythologies whenever we see a major character like Luke or Yoda teaching someone how to use the Force either in the Empire Strikes Back or in the Jedi Academy trilogy or I Jedi. It always starts with learning the Force first and then understanding the code, what the code is and what it means to embrace the light side of the Force and turn away from that dark side of the force, the dark side of the self that is cruel and malicious and that does come to us in anger and that would be fueled by anger. So this gives you an idea of how to use the code, using it as a mantra, why you need the force to understand it. Without that, it's empty words. You might still find a use of it, but it's ultimately just empty words and it's very easy to ignore. So remember, you've got to embrace the force and the code as a unified whole. That's part of your Jedi training. Now this video is a little longer than the other, so I'm just going to say you got this. Strip away the barriers that have been put in your mind. Strip away the barriers that have been put in yourself and embrace the Force. And Force guide and protect you, Jedi.